Rory McIlroy compounded the mistakes he made on the 16th and 18th greens at Pinehurst No. 2 on Sunday afternoon with another mistake after he tossed his golf clubs into the trunk of his Lexus SUV courtesy car and hastily bolted from the premises. Walking away from the most devastating loss of his career in a major championship without addressing what went wrong and or or his feelings which were rather obvious threatened to allow the goings-on in the fateful U.S. Open final round to fester. McElroy leaving the golf course after declining interview requests following his stunning one-shot loss to Bryson DeChambeau. A decision that was completely understandable given the gut-wrenching circumstances, threatened to prolong the story. Fortunately, and with the advantage of day after retrospect, McElroy ended his Sunday silence on Monday by releasing a statement on X, which in part said he was stepping away from tournament play until the Scottish Open and British Open next month. Yesterday was a tough day, probably the toughest I've had in my nearly 17 years as a professional golfer, McElroy said in his statement. Firstly, I'd like to congratulate Bryson. He is a worthy champion and exactly what professional golf needs right now. McElroy was committed to play this week's Travelers Championship in Cromwell, Con, and it was somewhat predictable after Sunday, he's now decided to skip it. McElroy surely wanted no part of being besieged with questions about the U.S. Open loss so soon after Sunday. It must be made clear here that McElroy is not only one of the most accessible star players in the sport, he's also one of the most candid, earnest interviewees who makes the effort to provide proper perspective. So, emotionally, I totally cut him a break for his actions at the end of the day Sunday, but practically, I believe it was a mistake, because it carries the story to another day, week, or more. At some point, Roger's mystery whereabouts during his unexcused absence from the camp are going to emerge. So, why not get out in front of it from the start instead of allowing it to linger and become a week's worth of stories and conjecture? McElroy's Sunday silence only prolonged the narrative and made it out to be more than he wanted it to be. Understandably, he wasn't thinking of these things in the immediate aftermath of missing those short putts on 16 and 18 and watching Deshambo charge through the door, he left a jar and snatched the big silver trophy. But McElroy could have learned a thing or two from how others before him handled devastating defeat. He could have learned from Phil Mickelson, who threw away the 2006 U.S. Open at winged foot and stood before reporters minutes afterward and said, I am such an idiot. Those words of raw honesty earned Mickelson immeasurable amounts of respect and admiration.